Hassan Rockman Jr. and I'm kicking it with Lady Shane. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe, y'all follow, y'all do everything y'all can to support this beautiful black woman over here, giving love to this beautiful, <laughs> lovely sport that we love and we all care about. Y'all make sure y'all tune in and support. Hey guys, hey guys. So I was just milling around looking for what's happening in the in the boxing world and um a thing came up with Deontay Wilder against... Do you remember the geezer that he fought back in 2010? No, we didn't really watch him then. Looks well, I didn't. Um, but he got dropped by this journeyman. His name was Harold Sconia or something like this. And um, um, stand by. Just have a look at his... Uh, um, look at his uh, box rec. Stand by. There you go, 18 and uh, 27 or 37, something like that. Just sorry, we just looked, but, you know, it's already left the booties in. <laughs> um, so, that mysteriously, this geezer, Deontay Wilder uh, knocked him down twice, and this geezer come and launched a... Uh, the reason why I'm bringing this, because he, he's come out and said that, basically, at the time when he fought Deontay Wilder, even though he got dropped twice, he said the power wasn't, like, significant. He said Deontay Wilder was aggressive, and... Um, and and that was it. He said he didn't really notice any power that was of, like, of what it was. What everybody professes for it to be now. Maybe then it was, maybe then it wasn't. But the geezer said it wasn't. Um, but he got dropped twice. But then he dropped Deontay Wilder. But what happened? Mysteriously. That footage has been wiped off the internet um, with Harold Sconia's um, um, knocking down Deontay Wilder. And Deontay Wilder literally being knocked out of the fight and given time to recover. We all know a 10 count is at the referee's um, discretion. Oh. Uh, the reason why I bring this up, because all the Deontay Wilder fanboys, not the fans, the Deontay Wilder fanboys, always uh, complain that uh, Tyson Fury was given, he was given longer uh, to get up. Uh, it's not fair. Um, like Kevin Samuel says, life isn't fair. Just deal with it. Um, so basically, um, I don't know why this footage was mysteriously removed. That 10 count really... <laughs> You should have been out of the Buddhism. But that referee kept you in the Buddhism. Then you dropped your journeyman for the third time and got him out of the Buddhism. Deontay Wilder's career has always just been something that's just... A, a, it's, it's a strange Buddhism. You know when you've just been overhyped and choreographed, like strategically choreographed, strategically moved in your Buddhism? Um... And and everybody's jumped on the Buddhism bandwagon. <laughs> Strategically choreographed Buddhism. Um, showing Deontay Wilder being dropped and suffering really what could be technically his first loss back in 2010. So he was allowed, uh, you know, some really, ex a real extended 10 count. And I mean... There's no really shame in that, but at the end of the day, he's a journeyman, and it just showed that the levels of Deontay Wilder. And then this geezer um, had lost to everyone, even to Bermain Severn, but he did beat a guy called Andre Parlet, who was seemed to be a knockout artist. Stand by. So as you can see, this geezer was 40 and for 35's coming by way of knockout. Um, but this geezer had been active since like 1990 odd, like 92. And uh, uh, Harold Sconia was his last fight, uh, you know. Um, but this geezer had been active since like 1990 odd, like 92. And uh uh, Harold Sconia was his last fight, uh, you know, in 2009. So the geezer had been fighting 17 years. I guess he hailed from Guyana, um, uh, West Indian Territory based in, but it's located in uh, the northern part of South America. Um, yeah, I mean, you've got, 
you've got Jay Diaz coming out. He had to come out at the time and said, you know, he's coming off a win. This he just knocked out um, Andre Perlet. Um So, so if it's such a great victory, why has it been removed? And now this geezer's fed up. Harold Sconia is fed up, and he was just like, yeah, I just. I fucked him up. So it showed that the levels of Deontay Wilder there getting beat by a journeyman and he was, um, you know, you know, everybody tried to class him as some world beater. Um, Ken clearly is not. And he, whatever. So they strategically choreographed his career. Um, poco a poco. Uh, to, so he, he didn't run into any problems and deleted, uh, you know, that which is ridiculous to be honest because every other fighter has to be fair game and fair and 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 you could see all their their triumphs their their peaks their troughs but with Deontay Wilder it's something that it's like super twilight zoney I'm not even gonna bother play that clip the twilight zone soundbite I can't fucking be bothered but I mean like why is it so with Deontay Wilder it's so molly coddled and it's so secretive and stealth so yeah, this has just made news um, uh, of uh, over the recent past couple of days, and I just thought I would bring it from me to you, from you to me. Ew, dares Rodgers. Ew, dares. I don't know why it's all so um, such a big fucking secret and things like this it makes you just wary of you know boxing. We all know it's corrupt, but you know I can't give credit where credit's due to a fighter that has had his career moved like this. I can't give you props and be like, yay, like, no, it's a no. It's a no. Anyway, I'm gone. <laughs> Let me do it properly. Anyway, I'm gone. Hey, you going, Leslie? Come box with Chan. <laughs> Gun. Secretive shit. Yeah. Yeah.